What's up guys? Royale with Cheese here and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're back on the Valgera map. Uh, I'm still messing around on my single player. I had a lot of comments and I thought we'd get into uh, the Wild Broodmother. So a Wild Broodmother spawns on this map. I'm going to show you guys where he is. We're going to try to defeat him with my Deinonychus army and we're going to see what he drops. We're going to see if he unlocks tech engrams like a regular Broodmother or if he unlocks anything for you, if he drops you anything special. Uh, so we're going to get into all of that today. So if you like this episode, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And it's giving me like a really awkward feeling standing right here. So I'm afraid I'm gonna like fall into where he is. It's like super scary. I'm gonna end the edge cliff. Okay. So first of all, it, he spawns in the spider pit down here. And I, I am at 737425 is my exact position right here. You don't have to do anything for him to spawn. He doesn't, uh, you don't need to collect artifacts or anything like that. He just randomly spawns down there. Um, it actually took me quite a while to get him to spawn. Uh, I tried all day yesterday, leaving the area, coming back, leaving the area, coming back, and he wasn't there. And then I logged in today and he's there. So I don't know what exactly causes him to spawn. As you can see, he's over there walking into a wall for some reason. Um, and like I said, he just randomly spawns. You don't need artifacts. You don't need to do anything. Let me fly up and show you exactly where we are. We're in the Redwoods uh, area. It's really close to the starter islands, actually. Uh, quite, quite close, in fact. So let me see if we can get high enough up to actually show where we are. So it's nice and easy to find if you even if you don't have a GPS. Um, okay, where are stupid redwood trees? Why do you have to be so tall? I can't see anything. Um, okay, so the starter islands are right over there. You can't really see them. We'll fly over this way a little bit. The starter islands are right over this way. You can't really see them. They're right there. Nothing's loaded in, but the starter islands are right there. That's where the starter islands are. That's where the carrots spawn right over there as a, uh, a point of reference. Nothing's loaded in because it's so far away. But so the carrots spawn right there. Starter islands right there. And if you come just into the redwoods right here, you'll find this super spidery looking pit. And he just randomly spawns in there. So uh, now I've bred up a couple of these uh, Deinonychuses. They were, I don't know, close to perfect team, like max levels between like 280s and 300s. And I just bred up a bunch, so they're 100% imprinted, but they're not fully leveled or anything like that. So we're going to try. Uh, again, I don't know. We might die. I'm not sure. I don't know even know how powerful this guy is. I'm not, I'm not sure really at all. I have a, a bunk bed over here in case things go wrong, and I have some extra Deinonychuses in case it's a total disaster. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna ride this guy. We're gonna bring these four dudes with us. And yeah, we're gonna just see how it goes. So let's see. Can I whistle? Ah, let's uh, let's go. Neutral. And then can I whistle attack my target on that guy? Get him, boys. Let's go. Oh man, this is the most epic attack of all time. All right, doesn't look like I can latch him, for anybody that's wondering. You can't latch to the Broodmother. Is he wrecking my face? I don't know. I'm okay, I seem to be doing okay. We're doing all right, we're fighting, we're fighting, we're eating, we're eating the Broodmother. Now, I wish I could see how many stacks of bleed he has on him right now, because these guys stack bleed. Uh, with all of us fighting him, he must have a bunch. Look at him, he's bleeding everywhere. Come on. Get him, boys! Attack! He doesn't appear to be getting bloody yet. Um, I haven't seen any red text. So we haven't lost anybody yet. My guy is still doing great on health. I've only lost like 300 health. That's awesome. I forgot they did his Torpor, though. Hopefully we don't get knocked out. So far, we're doing great. Let's. We got a, co we got a point. Melee damage. Do it. The Chinonychus is 442. Oh, this is an epic, it's an epic battle. I don't know what's happening. I hope this guy is even killable, to be honest. I'm not sure if he's... We're in my single player, and unfortunately, I don't have damage numbers turned on. I wish I did. 
I should have thought of that before this, because I don't know exactly what we're hitting for, or if we're hitting at all. Although, I guess then it would just make a huge spam of uh, green numbers. It would probably make it impossible to see anything, so. This is probably for the best, I guess. I'm almost out of spam. Is he getting bloody at all? Are we doing anything to this guy? Is he taking damage? I don't know what's... Oh, we've done it! We've done it, we've eaten him! Okay. Well, alright. Uh, who got the killing blow? Did we get anything? Did we get any stuff? This guy... Um... Okay. Uh... I don't see a bag. No bag. Did I unlock any engrams? Tech? We didn't unlock anything, so it appears that he is not like the uh, regular broodmother. That he uh, does, in fact, not, does not unlock any engrams or anything like that. And I guess this guy got the killing blow? Is this, I don't remember having this, this is what we got? Are we? So we got basically nothing, I'm pretty sure. None of these guys have anything? Hey guys, it's Cheese. A uh, quick cut here. I realized as I was editing that I actually did get loot. I just never noticed it was actually in my inventory. So if you see, I got the Broodmother flag and I got a 124 damage uh, blueprint for a compound bow. So we did actually get loot. It was just absolutely terrible loot. All right, back to the video. This guy has a little bit of element dust and some electronics. I don't know why he would have that other than to kill the they killed the brood mother. We don't see any bag anywhere, right? No bag. Huh. Interesting. So I guess you don't really get anything for killing it. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I don't definitely don't see any bag or anything at all. Weird. All right. Well, uh that went a little bit quicker than I thought. So let's go uh you guys stay here. You guys just chill. We're going to go explore this cave that's right here just a little bit. Because there's also a cave down here. So let's just take a little peeky in here and see what we can find. Oh, God. We're loading in. We're loading the cave. All right. Some spiders. Some spiders. So, yeah. So a killing that brood mother appears to do nothing. Um, didn't unlock anything. And it also didn't drop me any loot. Very, very interesting. Let's see. Is this cave, like, super crazy? It looks amazing in here. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys to see. I mean, it's definitely dark in the cave, so. Interesting. Wow, that looks really cool, actually. Super cool glowy mushrooms in here. Looks really, really neat. Hmm. A bunch more. Oh, oh, God. All the bugs. Oh, God. Oh, man. You could have a field day in this cave with some uh, sloths. Some... Megatheriums in here would just go nuts. Look at all the bugs. Holy smokes. New chitin cave confirmed. Look at them all. Oh my god, there's 10 hundred zillion Meganera. Oh. What on earth? How much? I have 1700 chitin in about one second, and I also have 17 levels. Wow, there's a crazy amount of bugs in here. So you could get like, all right, now it's super dark. Let's gamma up a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Super crazy. Oh, it looks like, oh, we can go through there, I think. Am I still, let's take, am I still taking damage? There's still more bugs. I'm injured. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I died. Why was I dying? I don't <laughs> I didn't realize I was dying. Oh, is there like Oh, is that one of those caves you can't breathe in? Is that what was happening? Was I getting like uh some sort of uh like smoke effect or whatever? Wow, interesting. Hold on, let's take we got a bonus. Give me one of the bonus Deinonychuses. I need to go save the Chinonychus now. Interesting. And these guys take no fall damage, which is really cool. They just, they kind of, they don't fly, but they fall with style. So if I go in here, uh, uh, we load in the cave again. Do we just start taking damage immediately? What was killing me? 
Is there some sort of like smoke effect? Oh yeah, it gets smoky right here. I bet as soon as I go over here, I start dying. Am I dying? Oh yeah, I'm poisoned. Interesting. Okay, so where did my guy go? Oh, here he is. Come here, buddy. Oh my god, all the things respawn in like one second. Okay, so don't attempt this cave unless you have... Uh... Come on, man. Come on, dude. Let's get out of here. You're going to definitely need like gas masks or... Uh... Some other type of gear to do these caves. The um... Interesting. So, okay. So we can't get gas mask. I don't think we can... I get oh yeah we can probably make gas masks because there's the aberration area or not gas masks but hazard suits or hazard suits uh, ingram you can learn hazard all right so you probably have to do that with hazard suits or gas masks interesting huh really cool so uh yeah that's gonna be all the time we have for right now guys uh so we defeated the brood mother with uh five dinonicuses uh, really not that hard of a fight. It just didn't seem... I don't think it hits like the regular Broodmother does, for sure. It de definitely wasn't doing a whole bunch of damage to us. Um, it didn't drop any loot, and it didn't unlock any Engrams, unfortunately. And also, that cave is super poisonous. You're going to definitely need some hazard suits or something to go in there. But that's all the time we have for today. If you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are looking for your own ARC server like the one I use, make sure and check out my Nitrata link down below. They have really great servers and really great prices and amazing customer service. And if you guys haven't come and seen me live on Twitch, I stream live on Twitch every single day. Lots of ARC and Fortnite and other fun stuff. You should definitely come over and say hi. I'd love to talk to you guys. But that's going to do it for today. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and the Chinonicus and a bunch of other Dinonicuses and the dead brood mother out.